Determine the, if the vectors 1, 3, negative 1, and 4, negative 3, 5 are orthogonal. If not, what is the angle between the vectors to the nearest degree? Let's start off by naming these two vectors. We'll call the first vector A and the second vector B. Now, we'll test whether they're orthogonal by computing their dot product. In component form, we have the first vector is 1, 3, minus 1, and the second vector is 4, negative 3, 5. So now we can compute their dot product, the sum of the pairwise products of their components. Multiplying across the first pair of components, we get 4. Multiplying across the second pair, we get negative 9. And across the third pair, we get negative 5. And now we add these together. 4 minus 9 minus 5 is negative 10. Note that this is not 0, and so we know that the two vectors a and b are not orthogonal. However, since negative 10 is a negative number, we do know that the angle between them is obtuse. So let's work it out precisely. To do that, we're going to use the dot product formula. That states that a dotted with b is the same thing as the length of a times the length of b times the cosine of the angle between them. If we solve this for the cosine of phi, we get cosine of phi is equal to a dot b divided by the length of a times the length of b. Now we've already worked out the dot product in the line above. That's, that was a negative 10. So we're going to take this and divide it by these two lengths. So let's work out those two lengths right now. We'll get a little bit of scratch work here and compute the length of a. The length of a, or its magnitude, is the square root of the sum of its components. Sum of the squares of its components, sorry. So 1 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 1 squared. That gives us the square root of 1 plus 9 plus 1, or the square root of 11. And we can do the same thing with b. The length of b is going to be the square root of 4 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 5 squared. That's the square root of 16 plus 9 plus 25. For a grand total of the square root of 50, or if you want to simplify, 5 root 2. So now that we know the two magnitudes, we can plug them in to our previous equation. We'll replace the length of a by the square root of 11, and the length of b by, this, by 5 root 2. Notice that you can cancel here. This gives us cosine of phi is equal to negative 2 divided by the square root of 11 times the square root of 2. And we can simplify that as negative 2 divided by the square root of 22. This isn't a standard angle, so I'm going to bust out my calculator to help me here. Negative 2 divided by the square root of 22, it's approximately negative 0.426. So cosine of phi is approximately negative 0.426. Using my calculator's cosine inverse button, phi is approximately 115 point two degrees. Of course, we just wanted it to the nearest degree, so we have phi is approximately 115 degrees. And that's an obtuse angle, so we're in the right ballpark.